This is the story of Monarch Legacy of Monsters Season 1. The story starts in 1973. A man documented giant monsters on a mysterious island, only to lose the tapes and files in a desperate escape. In 2013, someone found those tapes and files. Then in 2015, one year after Godzilla's battle in San Francisco, a traumatized schoolteacher Kate Randa travels to Tokyo to settle the affairs of her father, Hiroshi. She discovers that he had a second wife, Imiko, and a son, Kentaro, in Japan. Kentaro leads Kate to Hiroshi's office, where she discovers a safe containing files belonging to their grandfather, Monarch researcher Bill Randa. Seeking answers about Monarch's presence in San Francisco and Hiroshi's connection to them, Kate and Kentaro recruit Kentaro's ex-girlfriend May Olo Hewitt to decode the files. As they delve into the past, Monarch's Tim catches wind of their quest, setting the stage for a revelation that will shake the foundations of family. Now we see in 1959, Kate and Kentaro's grandparents, Bill Randa and Keiko Miura, follow radiation in Kazakhstan with fellow Monarch official Colonel Leland Shaw. A boy claims that the radiation is a cover story for the government drilling a hole through the earth. Unraveling the truth, Bill and Keiko stumbled upon a power plant where radiation levels plunged to zero. A revelation awaited them, tallow caverns beneath the bedrock harbored a secret, a nest of insectoid endoswarmers. As they delved deeper, the air thick with anticipation, the duo discovered eggs pulsating with untold mysteries. Keiko and Shaw repelled down to extract genetic material. Yet the dormant larvae within the eggs stirred to life, casting shadows on their seemingly straightforward expedition. In a heart-wrenching moment, Keiko is snatched away by the endoswarmer larvae, disappearing into the depths of a dark pit. Leaving Kate and Kentaro to uncover the legacy of their grandparents and the monstrous secrets. Episode 2. Year 2015. Kentaro finds some important monarch files in his dad Hiroshi's office. These files suggest that Shaw, who Kentaro thinks of as his honorary great-uncle, moved to an assisted living facility in Japan. Tim, who works for Monarch and a field operative named Michelle Duval, try to find Kate, Kentaro, and Maid to get those files back. But the trio manages to escape. Kate, Kentaro, and May go on the run and find Shaw who reveals that the facility is a pretense for Monarch to keep him under house arrest. Shaw convinces them to escape from the facility and follow Hiroshi to his last known location in Alaska. In the past, 1952, we see that Shaw is assigned to be Keiko's companion on an expedition to the Philippines because of strange radiation readings. They meet Bill in the jungle, who says he's looking for a dragon that breathes fire based on local stories. Keiko decides to team up with Bill, even though Shaw isn't so sure about it. Shaw goes away, and Keiko and Bill find the wreck of the USS Lawton, a Navy ship that sank in 1943. Bill was the only person who survived. Inside the ship, they find dead bodies and are attacked by an ion dragon, a creature that breathes fire using radiation. Shaw comes back just in time to rescue them from the ship. Kate, Kentaro, May, and Shaw, in 2015, managed to escape Japan and take a ferry to Pohang, Korea. When they arrive in Pohang, border guards confront them, but one of them, Duho, turns out to be Shaw's old friend. Duho helps them get to Alaska by plane. While flying, May figures out from Bill's files that Hiroshi was probably following a list of coordinates provided by Monarch. In Alaska, they discover the wreckage of Hiroshi's plane and signs that suggest he might still be alive. Unfortunately, Duho realizes that Hiroshi's plane was attacked after landing. A dangerous creature called a Frost Vark kills Duho and destroys the plane. Now let's travel back to 1954. Shaw has taken on a big role in Monarch. He, along with Bill and Keiko, shows their boss, General Puckett, a cast of Godzilla's footprint. They need uranium to lure Godzilla out, and they hope this will help. However, things take a dark turn when in Bikini Atoll, they discover that Puckett has put the uranium in a nuclear bomb meant to kill Godzilla during the Castle Bravo test. Keiko tries to stop the bomb from going off, but Shaw stops her and the bomb is detonated. After the chaos, 
Pocket gives Shaw a blank check for Monarch to continue researching these giant creatures known as Titans. In 2015, the Frostvark's emergence is detected by Monarch. Kate, Kentaro, May, and Shaw manage to escape from this creature, but May ends up in a pool of water and quickly gets very cold as they look for a safe place. Kentaro goes off on his own and finds a building he had seen from the plane. It turns out to be an old radio station fixed up by Hiroshi. Knowing that the Frost Vark likes to feed on heat, Kate, May, and Shaw create a big fire to distract it. This buys them enough time for a helicopter, which Kentaro had called to arrive and rescue them. They are then taken to a monarch outpost where Tim and Duval welcome them. Now let's go back to 2013. Kentaro meets May while waiting for his first art show at a fancy gallery. Instead of preparing for the show, he chooses to spend time with her, and they bond. Kentaro decides to present his art, even though he might not be fully ready, all because he wants to make his father Hiroshi proud. The night of the gallery is the last time he sees Hiroshi before he goes missing. In 2015, Natalia Verdugo, Monarch Deputy Director, gets upset when she finds out that Shaw hasn't been telling Kate Kentaro and May about what Hiroshi was up to in Alaska. Duval suggests letting these three go so they can be watched. When they get back to San Francisco, Kate convinces her mom, Caroline, and her mom's friend James to help them sneak into the part of the city that's off-limits to find Hiroshi's office. They have to dodge the military and deal with Kate's PTSD, but eventually they make it to Hiroshi's office. Even though they don't find more hidden files, Kentaro figures out from Hiroshi's maps that he probably went to Africa to look for Titans. May secretly contacts Duval, asking to go home in return for her cooperation. Now let's go back to 2014. Two days before Godzilla shows up, Kate is dating someone named Danny. On the G-Day, Godzilla appears feeling guilty for cheating on Danny. Kate decides to leave her behind and help supervise a bus full of kids going across the Golden Gate Bridge. Unfortunately, many of the kids die when Godzilla crashes through the bridge during his fight with the military. In 2015, Duval breaks Shaw out of captivity, revealing that she joined Monarch after her sister died in the Janjira power plant disaster, but has become disillusioned. They take Kate, Kentaro, and May to the Algerian Sahara, where they find Hiroshi using a titan lore. He warns them to escape before fleeing. Tim and other monarch agents find the team in Algeria. Godzilla emerges and causes their helicopter to crash. Shaw and Duval reveal their intent to follow and help Godzilla, but Kate, Kentaro, and May leave to find Hiroshi. Kate and Kentaro are angered when May reveals that she allowed Monarch to track them. In 1955, Shaw and Keiko attend a defense industry ball where they bond. Bill recalls them to Monarch headquarters. They learn that Suzuki, a Japanese scientist, has captured isotopic signatures with his Titan lure. As Bill and Keiko travel to meet Suzuki, Shaw reluctantly stays behind to present a budget proposal, but he eventually abandons the meeting and joins them in Japan due to his feelings for Keiko. Godzilla destroys the lure. Returning to the United States to inform Pocket of Godzilla's survival, they learn that he has transferred Monarch's command in Shaw's absence. In 2012 May, then known as Cora Mateo, is recruited by AET. Dissatisfied with the secrecy around her work, she hacks into AET's systems and discovers that they are a front for Monarch's cybernetic animal experimentation. She destroys AET's research and flees to Japan under a false identity. In 2015, May is kidnapped at the airport in Tenduf, Algeria, by her former employer, Applied Experimental Technologies, who gives her the choice of spying on Monarch or being prosecuted. Kate catches Tim at the airport and asks for his help to find May. Together with Kentaro, they locate May's family in Tacoma, Washington, and get to know her history from her sister, Lyra. To rescue May from applied experimental technologies, they create a fake alert about a Titan. However, May decides not to spy on Monarch and stays behind. Kate convinces Vertigo to help free May in exchange for information about Shaw's plans. Tim suggests making Monarch's activities public to explain the Titan alert. 
After making a deal with Monarch, Applied Experimental Technologies changes its name to Apex Cybernetics. Shaw and Duval take control of the Monarch outpost in Alaska and create an explosion to seal a passage to the Hollow Earth. In 2015, Shaw and Duval go back to the power plant in Kazakhstan, where Keiko died in 1959. Now it's enclosed in a special place. Kate, Kintaro, May, and Tim figure out that Shaw is trying to fix something from the past. Verdugo tells them to go after Shaw with a small team. Inside the facility, Shaw and Duval meet the team. Shaw talks to Kate alone, saying he wants to help Godzilla keep things in order by separating the Hollow Earth from the surface world. Shaw sets explosives around a rift to the Hollow Earth, and a big endoswormer comes out. May, Kate, Shaw, and the Endoswarmer fall into the rift just before it gets destroyed. Now let's go back to 1955. The new head of Monarch, Lieutenant CMDR. Hatch doubts Shaw, Keiko, and Bill's proof of Titans existing. Bill defends Keiko and attacks Hatch when he makes a racist comment. With Monarch at risk, Shaw convinces Keiko and Bill to gather their research. Bill figures out that Titans stay hidden through the Hollow Earth. While sharing his discoveries with Keiko, he finds out she's a widow raising Hiroshi alone. Bill offers to adopt Hiroshi. As a last resort, Shaw reveals that Godzilla survived while showing Puckett, Keiko, and Bill's research. In 2015, Monarch saves Kentaro and Tim. Verdugo shares the sad news with Kentaro about the losses of Kate, May, and Shaw. Kentaro feels really down, but his mom, Emiko, encourages him to keep looking for answers. When Hiroshi comes back to his office, Kentaro confronts him. At the same time, Shaw and Mei wake up in a strange place between the surface and the hollow earth called Axis Mundi. They start searching for Kate. Meanwhile, Kate faces an attack from a bramble boar, but is saved by a younger Keiko. In 1962, Shaw volunteers for Operation Hourglass, an expedition into the Hollow Earth. They use Suzuki's Titan Lure to bring out a Titan partially and stabilize a rift. But during the launch, something goes wrong and the rift closes unexpectedly. Puckett tells Bill that Monarch's funding is cut because of how Operation Hourglass went. Meanwhile, Shaw's team is stuck and they get killed by an Ion Dragon while Shaw gets pulled back through the rift. Fast forward to 1982, Shaw wakes up in a monarch hospital. He holds a nurse who happens to be Emiko hostage and he demands to see Bill. But instead, an adult Hiroshi shows up. Hiroshi tells him that Bill has died and monarch plans to stop their mission and leave the Titans alone. Shaw is put under house arrest. In 2014, he watches the news about Godzilla and the male Mudo fighting in Hawaii. In 2015, Keiko tells Kate that she modified the Titan lure to send a signal from the Hollow Earth. They find Mei and Shaw, and Keiko is sad to discover that Bill never came back from Skull Island. Tim leaves Monarch after a disagreement with Vertigo, who refuses to check Keiko's signal. Instead, Tim tells Kentaro and Hiroshi. Shaw and Keiko connect the lure to the Operation Hourglass vehicle. Keiko wants to stay behind, but Kate convinces her otherwise. Shaw starts the vehicle, unintentionally attracting an ion dragon already in Axis Mundi. Shaw leaves the vehicle to fix a cable moved by the dragon. Godzilla shows up through a rift and fights the ion dragon. Finally, Godzilla throws the dragon back through the rift and activates the vehicle. Keiko struggles to bring Shaw back, but he sacrifices himself for their escape. In 2017, at an apex cybernetic station on Skull Island, Hiroshi successfully brings the vehicle back up. Kentaro, Hiroshi, and Tim reunite with Keiko, Kate, and Mei. They're shocked to find out that two years passed and that Tim is now with Apex Cybernetics. They all evacuate as Kong approaches.